What's up everybody? We are here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, which is celebrating 400 years of history. But we don't have that much time. We actually only have 24 hours in Portsmouth. So we are gonna take you through the 24 hour itinerary of the things you must do. So let's get to it. you're gonna do when you get to Portsmouth is get in your car and leave Portsmouth and you're gonna drive 10 minutes north into Kittery, Maine for Love for Donuts. Now you don't have to leave Portsmouth. There is a second satellite location right there in downtown but this is the home base of the best donut shop that we have ever had. Definitely not a place to go overboard. No. Don't go, don't go overboard here. You can you can contain yourself for sure. I can. I'm capable of doing that. I won't eat all of these in the car right now. Bye! And it is completely vegan. And today we definitely wanted to make the drive into Kittery because they're having a doggy adoption event. So let's go get some donuts and see some dogs. <laughs> Donuts, besides having amazing staples, Lovebird has monthly special flavors so they never get old, and sometimes even daily specials like this one that they have here with cookie batter inside, and it's special for the Fetching Hope adoption organization, and they have the pups right here to play with. I couldn't even imagine a better day. It does not get better than this. Donuts and doggies is a big win, but it's time to head on to our next activity because we only have 24 hours here. So eat these donuts fast because we gotta get going. Let's go. I wonder who got smacked in the head for that <laughs> to have to go up. <laughs> All right, for your next stop, you are going to go to the World War Memorial. <laughs> Memorial. All right, now you got a belly full of donuts. Your next step is to walk it off on the World War Memorial Bridge that connects Portsmouth to Kittery, Maine. It's a really great bridge. It's really prominently featured in Portsmouth. The original bridge was built in 1923, so a full 100 years ago. It's since been rebuilt, but back when it was built, it was a pretty impressive feat. When it was built, it was the tallest vertical lift and widest vertical lift bridge in the nation. Oh yeah, it lifts up. <laughs> yeah, you, if you get really, really lucky, you'll see it do that. If you're driving, you'll get especially unlucky. It takes forever. <laughs> You can walk across, so definitely take a little walk through, get some breeze, and that tees you up for your next stop. Which is... Puppeteering. It's puppeteering more eggs and more. <laughs> Is it a pancake with eggs? And <laughs> yes. So now you're back in the city, and the next thing to do is shop till you drop on Conga Street and in downtown Portsmouth. You can definitely do that. There are so many amazing boutiques and stores here. Two of our favorites that we found and spent a little too much money in were M and L and Drift. Really cool places. Check them out. But there's also so many good restaurants here and cafes. I just can't believe how much food we've eaten so far. Good. We'll share that with you a little bit later, but it's a super walkable downtown, very pedestrian friendly. You can definitely get everywhere on foot, so get a walk in. And you can use the North Church as your North Star to keep right in the center of Congress Street. It was erected in 1837, I think. Incredible, historic, and beautiful steeple church. We have one more really fun activity planned. You are not going to want to miss this one. Let's head there right now. By the way, I'm Eric. And I'm Crystal. And this is what we do. We explore new places and find hidden gems all across the US and internationally too. So if you like that, make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this video, and keep an eye out for future videos because we actually have a lot of very interesting things coming up. So stay tuned. <laughs> and let's go check out the rest of Portsmouth. Wow!
Maybe I'll spin. Yeah, spin. You think I could spin? <laughs> Whoa! Whew. It's a cool journey. It was quick. <laughs> so next, you're gonna wanna take a deep dive into the USS Albacore Museum. That's good. It's a submarine. <laughs> That's right. It is a decommissioned submarine. And it was decommissioned in 1972. And if you want some actually fun and interesting facts about the submarine itself, you will learn them when you take a tour through the actual submarine. It is really crazy. Tall people beware. It's really kind of cramped. <laughs> I can't even fit in the beds. Like, there's no way. There's no way. I barely fit through some of the spaces. I'm obviously much smaller than you. They also let people smoke in the submarine which is really crazy and the audio tour is just really cool. You walk up to different things and you press the buttons and they tell you all about it. Imagine driving down the highway at 30 miles per hour with your eyes closed for eight seconds. It's just a really fun experience and even for people who know nothing about submarines. So now you've spent all your money, you've seen all the history, You've worked up an appetite after those donuts one more time. And it's good you did because like we mentioned, the food scene here is incredible. So let's go check out some food. finish off your day in Portsmouth with some green elephant. It's a vegetarian bistro and they have a ton of vegan dishes and I am not lying. It is so good. We get it every single time we're here, sometimes multiple times when we're here and this trip was no exception. We've had three nights, it's been dinner twice, so. It's so good, you have to try it. Speaks volumes. So that is your 24 hours in Portsmouth. If you have more time, Congratulations, you're gonna have an amazing time, but if you only have 24 hours, these are the things to prioritize. It is a really cool and action-packed place to visit. All right, so this is where we leave you. We're gonna go enjoy our green elephant food, but make sure you like this video if you learned anything. Share your favorite parts of Portsmouth down below because we come here about once a year, so we'll check that out next year. Yeah, absolutely open to suggestions. We'll definitely be back, and we will see you in the next one. See you there.